We are unboxing pornography. Today we are answering the question why pornography is so addictive. Do you know that more than 30,000 people are watching pornography every second of every single day? More than 50,000 Rand is spent on pornography every single second of every single day. One out of five searches on the internet is for pornography. A very scary statistic is the fact that 96% of young people at the moment are actually encouraging pornography or they are neutral to the use of pornography. We would think that it would be better in the church, but actually 64% of men in the church say they struggle with pornography on a monthly basis. 15% of women in the church say they struggle with porn usage every month. It makes sense. Pornography is one of the biggest industries in the world. They, they identified a human need, provided a product that is very easily accessible, and then the people consume this product, but they become addicted to the product. And in the end, the, it's a basic business model. They make a profit out of their consumers. Scary thing is that over the COVID period, pornography all, use all over the world grew with 20%. Some of the big porn sites lowered their subscriptions or they even made it free for a few months for people to consume. The very sad and dangerous thing about porn use is the devastating effects that it has on the individual, but also the people close to that person. For instance, it destroys trust and intimacy within a marriage. And even if you're not married yet, it steals of that trust and intimacy that is supposed to grow in your marriage one day. Another bad thing is the fact that promiscuity becomes natural to a porn user. And in the end, it steals from that passion and that willingness to sacrifice yourself in a family situation. When it comes to working on marriage and raising kids, you feel like a failure in that kind of setting. It steals of something that God created to be good. And here's the interesting thing, in terms of your relationship with God, that lack of confidence before Him because of the guilt and shame that you carry. And more than that even, a porn user that uses and is addicted to pornography will never do something great for God in His kingdom. Why is it so addictive? Why is it so attractional to people? It's because of our brain and also because of our heart. Let's look at the brain quickly. You see, pornography creates this perfect chemical mix within the brain when the person is busy consuming the product of pornography. The first chemical that is released is dopamine, which create, creates focus, that sense of craving, I want something now. Another chemical is norepinephrine, which actually makes you alert that something is about to go down, something is about to happen. Oxytocin, for instance, binds long-term memories to the object of pleasure or the object of the desire. Endorphins creates that feeling of you are you are feel that feeling of high pleasure and this wave of pleasure over your whole body and your being. And serotonin brings that sense of calmness and relax, relaxation. The crazy thing is in marriage, when uh, uh, two spouses engage in a sexual encounter, all of these chemicals are also present in that moment for the purpose to bind the two people together in marriage so that they become the object of desire and pleasure for each other. But for a porn user, the pleasure system of the brain is hijacked. It's overloaded. And then a chemical addiction is formed. So what started maybe as an emotional attraction becomes a chemical addiction. And that craving of your brain cannot be satisfied. So you're always growing in the quantity of the pornography, but also the harshness and the, the hardness of the pornography. 
Let's quickly look at the heart. So it's not only the brain that becomes addicted to it, but also the heart. And now we know we're not speaking about the physical heart, but the, the life within you. You see, pornography offers a sense of relief and it offers a sense of, of, of salvation in a very difficult or distressing situation. For instance, the unmet longing for companionship and intimacy and connection or even sexual encounter with a person. When you become frustrated or discouraged or confused or angry or lonely, pornography becomes this perfect escape from your circumstances and this perfect escape from your emotions and it fills your heart with a sense of pleasure and enjoyment. For many men, the use of pornography is because of a rejection that they have experienced in relationships. For many women, the thing of over-sexualization becomes the driving force behind porn use in a lady's life. But there is hope. Although pornography creates this vicious cycle of shame and guilt that leaves you in such a bad place, and then you ask yourself, what is the next step for me when I live with a sense of failure? And the best answer that your brain and your heart can come up with is more pornography use. And in the end, this wrong belief starts forming that says, you can never leave pornography. You have to consume it. There's no way out. I cannot control myself. I have to do it. My friend, that wrong belief becomes the driving force behind your pornography addiction. However, the gospel of Jesus Christ brings a message of hope and a message of freedom. Just listen to what Paul wrote in Romans 8 verse 12 to 13. He says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but it's not to the flesh. You see, if you are in Christ, your obligation is not to the flesh to live according to it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. You will, you will experience death on so many levels in your life. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. My friend, there is a way out. There is hope by the Spirit in the gospel of Jesus Christ. There is hope, there is grace, there is forgiveness, there is healing available to you.